Hey there, everybody. Reed here again. Today in my life, I am working on a little sewing project. My wife reminded me how few people know how to sew anymore. And I was just like, right, people should know that. Like, it's not too hard to find a needle in a haystack or maybe a grocery store or a little convenience store. Often they come in little round packages like this. And often they have a little bit of thread with them. So you can do your little repair job. I, though, today, am using something different. I am using Dentifloss. I took it off label. I don't want to promote any particular company, but frankly, I like the waxed variety when I'm going to use it like this. And if, like, you, you know, have a bug out bag or anything like that, Dentifloss is so freaking useful, especially for sewing things together. You might want to get some. Or if, like, you need to put your backpack back together, whatever it is, Dentifloss is amazingly strong and yeah. Dental hygiene, very important. So, you know, cut two birds with one stone and uh, enjoy that dinner. Once you have threaded your needle, like so, it's trickier if you use the teeny tiny little hole, but I'd like a nice big one because I got these big meaty fingers. Normally, if I was doing this for a shirt or something, I would tie a knot in one end of it but I'm not doing that today. Or I would bring the two pieces together for this nice long piece that I was doing, and I would tie the two ends of that together, knowing that I'm going to have to cut it a little shorter so I have enough to tie off on the other side. But in this case, I'm just doing a silly project, so I don't need to do that. Then you take, you know, I got this lovely black shirt here. I'm making a clowning outfit for a character that I'm developing, and I wanted something to look rather uncomfortable. And I thought if I put a lot of dental floss in it and made these little bunchy spots that would be uncomfortable anyway you got to work with what you're working with so i'm just going to tie that off and say in school a lot of us aren't taught much of what we really need in life and i think that along with sewing it'd be great to know how to garden know how to take care of your personal finances and by the time you graduate high school, let's be honest, it'd be great if we all knew how to do a full body massage. But you gotta work with what you got and when you're there, and you can pick up skills along the way. And sewing is just an easy little skill if you're doing a mending project or something similar and you're not trying to make a three piece suit, although that's fun too. You can also upcycle those things. So if you buy one that's a little extra baggy, cut off a bunch and sew it back together. You don't always need a machine. And you'd be surprised, people don't necessarily Think much of it but it saves you a lot of time energy hassles whatever live a good life everybody hope you have a great one